Hey everybody, well, uh, I'm walking around ICAST, this is the last day. Everybody's gonna start packing their stuff up real soon. Uh, the whole time I've been here, I've been filming. So uh, what I'll do is I'll show you a little um, montage of things, starting from me being on the bus, coming here, uh, and all the things that I've seen along the way. Uh, I gotta pack it all into one video because otherwise we might have uh, 100 videos to make because there's so much to see here. So uh, check out these little clips. I hope you enjoy it and um, thanks for coming along with me to iCast 2016. Welcome everybody to the Orange County Convention Center. This is July 12th to the 15th where ICAST is being held. This here is the Convention Center. This is the West Concourse, this giant building in, in which uh, is being held the International Convention of Allied Sport Fishing Trades or ICAST. This is held by the American Sport Fishing Association. It really is an amazing building. There's like seven million square feet of space here. This building was made in 1983 and added on to over the years. It's now the second largest convention center in the United States, located here in Orlando, Florida. You're looking at these boats that were parked out front on the lawn. I bet these things go a lot faster than my kayak, you think? <laughs> there were some really, really neat toys out here. I had to go and at least take a look at them up close. There were actually raffles during this convention where you could win a couple of boats. This was one of them. Next to that was a massive boat. It had four V8 motors on it, each boasting about 350 horsepower. That is an amazing boat. Look at the size of that. It's really hard to get a grasp for how big this thing is. Kind of gives you an idea of how big the fishing industry really is. Even the trailer was gigantic. <laughs> what a cool thing it was. Costa del Mar had a boat out here. And right next to it was this pretty cool machine by uh, Maxima. It was like diamond plate everything. The trailer was diamond plated, the boat was diamond plated. That was a pretty cool looking boat. This was just a taste of all the cool looking things that lie inside the building. How about that, huh? Pretty slick. And right next to it were another couple of boats that were going to be given away during this convention. All right, enough of this. Let's head on in. This is a very cool building, funded by tax dollars paid by people who rent hotel rooms. Pretty neat, huh? Inside were also a bunch of cool things. And this is just in the lobby. Here's a display set up by Costa del Mar. It's a sculpture made from discarded plastic found in the water. We've seen that in my videos before, people. Keep our waterways clean, huh? Anyways, this is the entrance to the actual hall where the convention is being held. As long as you got a badge, you get through the security. They're pretty lenient with what you bring in, whether it's a cup of coffee and a red fish or just a backpack. <laughs> this was the first official day. This is when the business started. The first thing I did 
is walk around and take a look at the cool products that you could find in ICAST. This here was the Frog Togs booth. These guys have sent me some rain gear that you'll see in, well, eventually when I get my big boat running. You also know how much I love Akuma Reels. It's nice to see them representing here at iCast. There were also smaller companies, like this guy, he was just starting out. That's the material there. Yeah, this is the outer material. That's actually... He was making bags to put your fish in, like cooler bags for a kayak. This company, Savage Gear, makes lures that look like real fish. I assure you, those are lures made out of plastic and rubber, <laughs> not real fish. A couple years ago, they won Best of Show at iCast for this little uh, crab lure. It's super cool. Then there were gamers taking advantage of our love of fishing. Here you can see some virtual reality fishing. <laughs> This booth had a big crowd around it the entire time. This guy was a super cool dude and had a super cool product. What's cool is you can mount it. You can put it right onto the, onto the rod. Yeah, it's going to mount right on your rod. Whoa. This is a 100 pound test braid. So you tuck it under your arm to make a loop. So a 100 pound braid. That's it, like nothing. Wow, like butter. Yeah, 100 pound test. He actually gave me a couple line cutters so that I can use them in my future videos. That's awesome. Just the wacky rigs. So this one's a little stiffer than the red spin. This booth in particular caught my eye. Can you guess why? <laughs> oh, nice. This is what they made. And, um, a wade cart. Push it down to where you're going. The wheels can stay on it in the water because there's no bearing So take everything in one swoop. You don't have to make multiple trips back and forth. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. They had a neat booth and a neat product. Sea mule. This company was trying to show everybody how indestructible their rods were. I couldn't break it. Then there were some creative people showing off their wares as well. Who's the artist? So uh, this is Eric Estrada. He's uh, painting over at the uh, Nautilus booth. Why does that name sound familiar? Well, there's Eric Estrada from Chips. Okay. These seat cushions were just amazing. Coleman, the lantern people, you know the guys that make camping equipment? They make outboard motors. I had no clue. However, I think some of these products might show up in my future videos. And then of course, there was Patrick Sabeel. Patrick Sabeel has fished practically everywhere. He's fished in 61 countries. He's caught over 700 species of fish and has held 300 international, European, and French national records. He's written seven books. He's been in hundreds, if not thousands, of articles. And he's graced the covers of over 150 fishing magazines worldwide. There's no other fisherman with those kind of credentials. So it was really amazing to find out that Patrick Sabeel watches my videos. Wow. It's very exciting. That's but I stuff. think for most inch like there are many following, like me, I'm a big fan of this <laughs> YouTube channel. Big fan, yes. <laughs> I follow, I, I look everything, cheapest video, everything. Every time there's a new video, I follow this guy all the time. So one of the things you will be very, very happy is that we're coming back with the stick shad. Not only we're coming back, we made it better. We have new design, the face is more realistic, more scale. I make it stronger, with also stronger hooks and split rings. But, yummy well. 
Now it's gonna be $8.99. Awesome. Happy? That's awesome. Yeah. I love that lore. <laughs> Even at the old prices, that's an awesome, yeah. awesome lore. Thank you. Thank you. Follow this guy. I, I love his video, he's genuine. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Love it. I like it too. <laughs> cool, thanks for coming. It really blew me away to find out that Patrick Sabia watches my videos. And it also made me very happy to hear that the nearly impossible to find stick shad lore was going to be coming back into production and that it was going to be a lot more affordable. That's pretty good news for us anglers. Now it's time to see some of the interesting people that I found while walking around at ICAST. Oh, what's up? It's illegal yes. to park it. Oh, it's it's illegal to park it. Clamps on, locks, ball floats. You can do it a different color for your different weights. Or you can do like red, white, green, blue. Minimal damage to the fish. What's up? What's up? Oh, my name is Nick. Nice to meet you, my man. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> you, seen, you seen the big muscle bound dude on YouTube with the. Um, with the what are you oh, finding the fish into? I was actually so, just lifting so. weights. It's looking cool. <laughs> in, that, in that video, I was trying my best to look as cool as I possibly can. You've seen you, that. Maybe, maybe not. I know you have to I've go. seen it a thousand times. <laughs> wow. It, it went viral. That's oh, awesome. Steal them all the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, when Mike decided he was going to put Hey, hey, Joe Simon, Salt's wrong. Yeah, oh, cool, man. Excellent. Nice yeah. nice you know guy. this guy, too? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've yeah. seen him once or twice. <laughs> Doing a great job, man. Thank you, dude. Uh, I appreciate that. Who's here? Check this out. This is Gene Jenkins. <laughs> Luke Master. Check this guy's channel out, man. If you're a bass fisherman, he's the guy that's going to teach you how to do it. That's right. That's right. That's all I do. I just teach the world to fish. Yeah, that's what I ran into. What's, What's up? up? <laughs> player, I love your, uh, your videos, man. Addicted Fishing, y'all know him. Go check Lots him out. To do. Yeah, it is. Sorry you're not going to see me in a kayak because I got a back injury, but uh, keep tuning into the show. I'll be catching fish still. All yeah, right, that's cool, brother. <laughs> Later. So many people they get married to a spot and they killed that fish ten years ago and he's dead, go somewhere else. Like, get over there. <laughs> Right. Look at these faces. What's up? Hey guys. Thanks for your call. What up? Robin Field. What up? Why? What's up, Marty? <laughs> if you don't have anything to do on the 20th, maybe you're going to do a nice thing. Talking YouTube stuff. Fixing world problems. Brain? Tom Swick from Fish Brain. Yes, sir. What's up? Yeah. 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 Get it, get this. Get yeah, right. Hold on. Where, where is it? Where are you? Where I'm right here. Is that a GoPro? You are. You want me <laughs> Meeting a bunch of fans was really awesome, and there was people recording their memories all over the place. Of course, some of the stuff that I recorded was all the boats and kayaks that you could see at ICAST. This is the forward reverse mechanism that Hobie came out with. Time will tell if that works really well or not. Yeah, why are you sitting down? This company was making these retractable pontoons for a kayak. That was a pretty neat idea. This is the roundabout made by a friend of mine who lives only a couple miles from where my boat is parked. 
Larry, Larry. Oh, see you, this guy is a celebrity from YouTube, Zoffinger. <laughs> okay, I'm me. <laughs> nice to meet Captain you. Larry Jarvis. The man speaking, and this guy right here, he's the creator of the Wave Walk, which is a very cool and innovative uh, kayak canoe hybrid. Him and I chatted for quite a while, and I enjoyed my time talking with him. And everywhere you look, there was kayak porn, just awesome, expensive, elaborate kayaks. <laughs> Lots of folks had their hand in the pedal drive market. I like this, actually. Dual micros, very nice. <laughs> yeah. There was all kinds of cool stuff out there. And again, some very pretty kayaks. Look at the finish on this one. Beautiful. The solo skiff might be the smallest boat you can get. That, well, the smallest motorboat that you can get. I'd like to play with one of these someday. Now this was a very innovative idea. Very, very unique. Look at the way it stores. Backs up a little bit different, kind of clamshells. Uh, just clip the mid-grain into the back load. Everything just kind of put together. It comes with the wheels. Oh, wow. Fantastic. This place had all kinds of gear and lights and gizmos for kayaks. <laughs> I was in heaven, I tell you what. I love that sea deck, man. So cool. How's that for a stand-up paddleboard, huh, folks? Jeez, highfalutin. <laughs> Everywhere I looked, there was just so many cool things. I mean, booth after booth. I, I, I got blisters in my feet just walking around this place, but I kept a smile on my face the whole time. And most of the time, I was parked over here at the Pelican booth. Guys, a Pelican had my kayak, my own personal Strike 120, front and center. If you follow my channel, I'm sure that looks familiar. The Pelican I made my own. They even made me a sign. It made me feel like a celebrity. It was just an amazing time. Pelican brought the catch, the flow, the Enforcer, which had an awesome looking seat. A Strike 100, a little smaller version of the one that uh, you've seen, along with a whole bunch of other kayaks. Even a couple sit insides. And their new version of the Catch 120, the Catch 120 NXT. I think there were a couple ideas on there that I might have influenced. <laughs> this little guy seemed to like it a lot. I certainly like my time with Pelican. I know I was having fun because these couple of days just went by so fast. It seemed like you turn a corner and it was time to go home. Friday was the last day and it was time to pack up. I helped Pelican put everything away. And it was everybody's time to pack things away. Everywhere you looked, things were getting boxed up and torn down. It 
It was amazing how quickly this entire place was just disintegrating before my eyes. And then, of course, it was time for me to get my stuff out of here. I put some of the wheels that Pelican provides underneath mine, right in the center, to make it easy to roll. And I rolled it all the way out. ICAST truly was an amazing experience. One that I won't soon forget. One that I hope to repeat for years to come. Thank goodness it was like 130 degrees outside. <laughs> Dang near almost died pulling my kayak out to the parking lot. <laughs> but I did survive. I made it. Threw the kayak up on the back of my little truck. And soon it was time to head home back to Tampa Bay. Man, oh man, that was a hectic uh, packing up of all, all of our stuff. <laughs> Conventions can just be so nutty. Everybody's uh, taking their stuff and uh, putting it in crates and boxes and on dollies and wheels and carrying it. And Whew, Wow. ICAST is a, uh, <laughs> a bit of a circus in that we got a bunch of crazy fishermen all together. But the, uh, the packing and unpacking of a convention can also be pretty nuts. I like it. Everything worked out pretty good, I think. Even though I'm about to lose my, my lunch. <laughs> but uh, that's it. I'm all packed up. I think it was a pretty good show for me. Here's my truck. There's my kayak. There's my new outboard motor. I'll be telling you guys more about that in the future. Till then, I hope you enjoy this little clip show of ICAST 2016. See you guys out on the water.